Hey guys, what's up? I got Richard here from 42 Fabricate. He's on some really cool kind of maker tour across the country and he decided to make us one of his pit stops. He's one of the few people in the country that's doing really similar stuff to us. I thought it'd be cool if we made one of his kits and he made one of our kits and uh, then we can just kind of make our own videos and shoot people back and forth yeah. to each other's channels. Check them both out. You know, it's there's really enough to go around for everybody. This is one of my favorite things about the maker community is honestly how low key and friendly everybody is even though we kind of do the same thing it's not a competition even though we overlap right? somehow yeah. it's it weirdly it works yeah um, and i'm pretty happy with it so follow along i'm going to be building one of his chimney kits let's go check it out so here's the deal guys richard ships out these cool chimney kits that you can weld and fabricate yourself everything's already cut out well not quite everything um, there's two plates that are kind of tied into the front of what the like becomes the chimney and you have to cut those out and those become the floor but once you cut those pieces out pretty much everything is half of a part so you need to make each panel out of two sections and then you need to make the floor out of these two sections that you cut out the only thing you really have to do here is make sure you keep everything straight I dropped a couple pins into the table um, to create kind of a straight edge to work off of. You guys could do the same with some clamps and some angle iron on your table. Anything to that effect, just give yourself a nice straight edge to work off of and then get tight iron from there and you can pretty much just tack these up. It's not going to take a whole lot of weld to hold this stuff together. The other thing I'm trying to be conscious of is I'm gonna end up putting all the welds on the inside of this. I'm pretty sure I can access uh, everywhere that needs some welding because of this nice big opening in the front. And I don't wanna make any sort of ugly mistakes on the outside that I have to grind down later. I think it'll look cleaner if I just leave all the outside seams, you know, perfectly open uh, without any welding them. And I'll kind of hit them with the grinder, flap wheel at the very end, clean them up. Okay, once you have your two halves, this is how I did this at first. You can clamshell both of those together and I like using these magnets, they're pretty handy because especially on light sheet metal, they're plenty strong enough to really hold that perfect joint while you get yourself set up with the welder and, and get in a comfortable position. Basically, once you get the plates together, all you have to do is keep each one of these panels 90 degrees from the next one. You do want to be a little bit careful with the fit up. The panels are not supposed to overlap. If you lap them over and have um, one covering the other, you'll end up with kind of a bust on, on your last seam. Um, it's just not going to fit up exactly how you would expect it to. As long as you keep everything tight, this is going to work awesome. Now that we have all the sides welded up, it's time to put the floor in. Just want to line this up. If everything's square, this is going to be pretty simple to do. If not, you could actually jam this floor up into the base, like a quarter to a half an inch or so, and use it as a square to kind of line everything back up. Um, now that I've kind of done this, I realize as soon as you tack everything together and it's not totally welded out, you could really jam this uh, floor plate in there and use it as a square even, and then weld everything out. Uh, but this is my first time putting one of these together. So, you know, the next one we can always improve. That's kind of our thing around here. This is the worst we'll ever be. And once you have it welded out, it's pretty much time to enjoy this sucker. So I'm going to take this home tonight and uh, me and Mrs. Maker are going to put a little fire in there and, you know, we'll see what happens. I'm tall now. <laughs> All right, guys, all jokes aside, that actually went together super smooth. And my favorite thing about it is that you actually involved a little bit of cutting. Like yeah. putting those little plates in there was pretty genius because you're gonna need a grinder, you're gonna need a welder when you're doing this stuff. Working that in, I think, was kind of a cool part that's really realistic. It's actually gonna build skills that you need to uh, have as a fabricator and welder, really, in any shop. 
Um, so I'm really excited to share this with you guys. You have a coupon code? I do, you guys want to check it out? We got Maker Table over on my website. You're gonna put a link down in the description, right? Yeah, 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 there you go. <laughs> Maker Table, that's it, 10% off this kit. Any other kit you want, hell, I'll even honor it on a signed deposit. We should probably just order those for now. Baker Table is the discount code on 42fab.com. You can get this Chiminea kit or any of his others. He actually makes a lot of cool stuff. So go check him out there. Or what do you got social media wise? Man, YouTube, 42fab. Instagram, I'm over on 42fabricate. And uh, we don't really do Facebook. So. Who needs it? No, it's for old people. Yeah. All right, guys. Happy making. Thanks for Later. Thank you so much, Richard.